Hello you beautiful people and welcome to today's video and today we're going digital because um the sun in the winter time <laughs> is not my best friend and I come home when it's dark and I wake up when it's dark and so I don't have like the right light equipment to film something traditional so today we're going digital and for this series I plan on going digital too because well I want to get into digital art again a bit more so what is this series about you may ask yourself or not um, the series is about or I had the idea to make this series about the series or the shows I grew up with or I liked as a kid or a teenager so I'll draw fan art for um, the series and tell you a bit about it and why I liked it and <laughs> something like that so um, yeah the series today you may not know because it's not that popular I think some people that aren't from Germany and aren't my age may not know it nowadays because it was on TV after school when I went to school and that was like I don't know over 10 years ago so um, yeah the series today is Wedding Peach and I don't remember that much about the series but I looked on Wikipedia <laughs> to um, yeah, to, to look it up. So you see on the picture we have the protagonist and her sidekick and I can't remember the sidekick's name but her name was Momoko which is related to the title of the series because if I remember right Momo is the Japanese word for peach so we're going like full circle with the name of the series. So. This series is about um, Momoko and her two friends and they are like working on the newspaper of the school and the newspaper is mainly about focused on the soccer team and they all have a crush on the same guy of the soccer team who of course plays later a major role in and yeah so they mainly write about the soccer team and the crush they have, of course. And one day they get attacked by a demon and then an angel comes down and offers them a contract and they can fight the demon or like Momoko was first and then she rescues her friends or something. And yeah, you know, like typical middle school shenanigans. And yeah, and then they're like blessed by Aphrodite or something and they can transform into magical brides and later a fourth girl joins the team and her crush can transform too, I think? And yeah, I, I don't really remember <laughs> anymore, but I guess um, it's a typical magical girl series. I was pretty much into these when um, I was little, so to be honest, to be very honest, I, I wasn't that much into Sailor Moon, like most people are, but I liked Wedding Peach and Kamikaze Kaito Jan a lot. So with Wedding Peach it was like it was friendly and it has these like nice theme song you could sing along <laughs> and all that. I mean I was like in fifth grade or something and I was pretty much into Wedding Peach then and with Sailor Moon I did not get into it that much because I was like 10 years old 11 years old maybe and I I did not like I'm a big horror fan these days but I did not like any creepy thing and it has this opening scene with this guy where he's like very dark and you only see his, his, his glasses or his eyes glowing or something and then that was like not scaring me off but like I, I, I did not like it, it was not cute <laughs> so 
<laughs> I did not watch it as a kid, so... But I watched it later and I liked it kinda, so yeah... It's it's a nostalgia thing, I, I guess, because if you watch it nowadays, it's like, oh, Remember, I was like 14 when I watched it and something. But yeah, Wedding Peach. And the fun thing I remember too about the series was that they could transform into like normal brides with normal wedding dresses that were pretty long but that's not good for fighting so this was only the first step of the transformation and they could then later transform into real magical girls with these typical magical girl outfits and um, then they had another transformation, I think. I think they had like three transformation stages. So the outfit would like get more more simple from a wedding dress and then had a bit more extras in the third form. I don't know if I remember that right, but in my head it's like that. So yeah. Um what can I say? I also revisited Paint Tool Sai for this um, painting because I haven't drawn in Sai a long time because I mainly, if I draw digital, I go paint on my surface because I don't have to leave my sofa for it. <laughs> but I try to um, draw more on my normal computer again and my surface is a bit buggy with Sai, it doesn't really work, but I really like the program. So um, I want to paint more pictures with Sai again because it's really fun to use. And I used it all the time back when I started out digital art and stuff, so yeah, I want to like, wanna, um, I wanna get into it more again. So. Yeah, with the picture I did not take the original colors I found on the internet. I muted them down a little or made them a bit brighter to um, match the color theme I had imagined. Also, I had to get into the workflow again. Like, I mainly work with paint tools. Uh, <laughs> I mainly work with Clip Studio, I wanted to say, these days. So um, I I didn't really remember how to use the tools in um, Sai and I yeah <laughs> I don't know I made it a bit harder for myself than I should have so <laughs> next time I know better so um, I don't know the series I want to cover in this series or better the shows I want to cover in this series. Mm, will not be in chronological order like the youngest I was and then the oldest I was when I watched it. I just uh, will take the series as they come to my mind and as far as I can think of yeah okay I watched this as a teen or a kid and I enjoyed it and I wanna paint a fan art of it. It's like um, yeah like that. I wanna like show you what I enjoyed I hope you'll <laughs> enjoy my little trip of nostalgia too. So <laughs> I don't know. Nowadays, I I feel I feel like Wedding Peach was pretty iconic at the time because there were these. It was like all about oh, I want to get married one day, da, 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 da. and it's like every other magical girl anime. But I think as I'm getting older, it's like. I mainly like the animes I enjoyed as a kid or as a teen and because they had so much impact on me and um, yeah, th th that was really, they affected me in some kind and this is why I enjoy them so much I think. And nowadays it's like, the, it doesn't have so much impact on me anymore besides some series, but um, I don't know, as a teen or as a kid you're getting into things pretty much and you kind of, I don't know, you kind of 
dive into it a bit deeper as you do as an adult and I think I enjoy I enjoy that pretty much um, and I will enjoy it pretty much when I do this series it's like a trip to my childhood where I like revisit these series and revisit kind of the feelings that I had towards them and now I've grown up and all and these series have like made me pretty happy after school and they gave me something to revisit and they were like I had some friends but they were like visiting visiting old friends when I looked them up so yeah <laughs> so I tried a little bit of a different kind of cell shading with this illustration and it was really nice I think I will try it again and I used the brush of paint to sigh for it it's this thing that you can also use to smudge and I just left it on the opacity it was I think and played around with the presets a bit and then I added a multiply layer and chose a darker color that wasn't black because black makes your shading look pretty dull and pretty cold and it's better to use a color that gives your illustration a bit more life so I chose this I think it's a red <laughs> with a bit of grey in it and I shaded the illustration with it. So also what I haven't mentioned yet is that I drew her in her school outfit. They also had a jacket they could put on but I wanted to draw her in her school outfit because I wasn't feeling like magical girl um I have to get everything like in the right proportions and I felt like the outfit was too complicated for me that day I recorded the speed paint <laughs> also I really like the school outfit because it's so simple it's so very very cute with this little or a big bow and all that stuff so yeah I chose that um, I don't have really anything more to say and I want to thank you for watching this speed paint and um, listening to my little <laughs> excourse about why I'm starting this and why I want to try draw a bit of fan art because I'm not really a fan art account and stuff like that but I really want to give it a go and revisit my old childhood and teenage time favorite shows through it and yeah I thank you very much for watching and if you like what you saw you can click on the like button or the subscription button but you know I think we all know how YouTube works by now <laughs> and yeah if you like it you can do that and if you don't like cannot do that or tell me what I can do better and until we see each other next time I want you to do something that makes you happy bye bye